Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me. It's in the description below. Reach out to me at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for asking about this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly, please. tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a watch originally launched in 2016, updated for the 2019 model year. In 2016, F.P. Journe took his elegant quartz watch, sports watch, and relaunched it in 48 millimeters lug-to-lug -lug form for men. Meeting popular demand, F.P. Journe then upgraded the aesthetic and the scratch resistance of the watch in 2019 with the Elegant 48 Titolite, which is the watch we have right here. Basic dimensions, impressive. It is 48 millimeters lug-to-lug, -lug, but it's also nicely cambered and fairly short across the wrist, so it wears well. Uh, from side to side, 9 to 3, not including the crown, it is 39 millimeters. It has an 18 millimeter spacing between the lugs, and it's only 7.7 .7 millimeters thick, and thus very, very light in titanium with minimal mass. And you can see on my wrist, 16 centimeters circumference. Although this one features a cheerful and summery strap in vivid orange. Uh, nevertheless, it could be your dress watch. Uh, these days, it's more and more acceptable to wear bright colors and formal attire, to wear formal attire with colors, period. Um, the timepiece easily slips underneath the cuff, so everything it does with exuberance, it also does with good manners. I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 13 centimeters circumference, so while there is an elegant 40 for women, I don't believe you need to step down to it. I believe this is a unisex option. Now, the watch has a lot of presence, and a big part of that is down to this strap. There are many straps available from the factory. We put the strap on because we think it brings out the best in the watch, and it offers a nice contrast between subdued and playful. As you can see, the strap is a matte orange externally. It, it tapers to nicely match the swell of the lugs, so there's a handsome and studied symmetry there. You can also see that the strap itself is rather pliant. On the underside, you have these interlocking F.P. Journe logos that remove material for flexibility and also allow the wrist to breathe a little bit. You can see this is a brand new F.P. Journe factory strap in outstanding condition, and it's matched with an F.P. Journe factory deploying clasp. Deploying clasps on Journe watches are very, very rare, so the fact that this has one uh, speaks to Journe's intent that you wear it in rugged occasions when acting vigorously and during periods of intense activity, so you will not drop it accidentally and it will stay well bound. It is all titanium, but the buckle itself is titolite to match the case, which is good taste and attention to detail. Now you can see that, as with other Journe watches, there are pull tab spring bars underneath the strap that allow you to remove it without tools. Now, taking a look at the case, you can see that it is a tonneau form. It's not identical to the Vagabondage series, though it is reminiscent of those. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of the Vagabondage here. There's also a little bit of the Cartier Tortue, though the overall organic form is very much Jorn. There's a sort of... Uh, machined bevel along the edge of the bezel. The case itself has a compound curve as the lugs are blended into the case band, and then it's highly angular at the ends of the case, so there's fluid rounded profiles from the side, but then end on it becomes very sharp and industrial. It's an interesting study in contrasts. Here you have the Journe double dimple knurled crown, but it's a screw down, unlike the standard line sport models. While this watch is rated to 30 meters, the fact is it's tested past 50 at the factory, and I have it on account from Montre Journe itself, that this is the only recommended swimmable Journe watch. The dial, everything you would expect, unlike the Vagabondage, you do see the name of the maker on the dial. You can also see that it features dial side assembly bolts for fixing the outer frames of the dial, and that's a signature you expect on Journe watches. Because the way the dial itself is built, the bolts aren't on the dial, but they frame it. So you have that key Journe aesthetic that's been on just about every one of his watches since the original 1999 Souscription Tourbillon Raymontois. This watch, however, is sportier. The dial at center is a solid block of Luminova, so all of the features printed in black get backlit when the watch is in the dark. You can see it has the expected Journe uh, numeral font radially arrayed. There's a railroad track outboard. There are both minutes as well as hours written out in Arabic numerals. You have a small second sub-register with its own little railroad track, and then the hands are the same blued biomorphic tapered hands you see on standard Journe timepieces. There is a little eccentric weight on a bridge at approximately 420, we'll call it, that is there to detect motion. 
Here's what happens. When the watch sits for 30 to 35 minutes, it stops the stepper motors. So the microprocessor inside continues to remember the time, but the motors stop stepping. So you have the time, you just don't waste the battery. When you pick it up, this little eccentric mass moves, wakes up the watch, the microprocessor tells the motors to reset to the correct time, and the hands will move clockwise or counterclockwise, whichever is closest and requires the least energy. Another feature that you won't find on other Journe watches is the hacking second function. So when you pull the crown out, you stop the seconds hand, you can set the watch precisely to a reference time. Now, why would you want to stop the stepper motors for more battery life? In daily use, the watch will run for eight to 10 years, which is extraordinary for a quartz battery. But if you were to just leave it sitting on the shelf, it would retain functional energy for 18 years. No other quartz watch can do that. Caliber 1210 also is a true luxury quartz caliber. Designed by Montrejean and incorporating significant 18 karat rose gold and hand finishing, it is impressive to look at, accurate to plus or minus 15 seconds a month, and it's watchmaker made, watchmaker regulated, and when the time comes, watchmaker serviced, pivoting on 18 jewels, just like a mechanical movement. It is extensively handmade and will be hand maintained, designed to last not just the life of the owner, but the life of the watch through the generations. Please reach out to team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details of this FP Journe Elegant 48 Tidal Light. The FP Journe Elegant 48, I promised you a light show, and Montrejourne always delivers.